Matter of fact, guys, I'm free a little bit, but let me go check on my gaming. My top 10 tips to successful gaming with DTL. I'm actually go buy this book. It's on Amazon. And, um, you know, I had this book out for a little while now. And I'm going to be able to keep on, uh, have different sales. And I want to be able to get to 100 sales. Um, and let's keep on going. So, let me read you guys my top 10 tips for gaming. Okay, so number one. Practice your gameplay. Number two, play with people that are better than you. That are better gamers than you to help you with different experiences and help you with your gameplay. Uh, number three, buy good gaming equipment and get warranties just in case there are issues. Uh, that meaning like and get warranties for your mouse, your keyboard, your controller, different monitors, screens, different stuff like that. Number four, Stay hydrated, drink water and other liquids before, during, and after your gameplay. Make sure you do that. That helps you during your gameplay, after, and uh, before. Number six, no, no, number five, have confidence and build your self esteem. Visualize the win. Like I always say, I started saying now, you gotta think you're the big stuff to become the big stuff. Meaning, you gotta think you're the best to become the best and practice. Number six, learn to play on multiple devices, such as PCs, tablets, consoles, mobile, um, with keyboard to mouse and other devices, meaning keyboard to mouse, controller, and stuff like that. Switch with little joysticks and stuff like that. Um, number seven, don't play with gamers that want to bully you and lower your self-esteem. Uh, or those that want to take your money, V-Bucks, crypto, skins, crypto and skins, and emotes. Uh, if they say you can't go anywhere, uh, you can't go far. I mean, sorry, can't go anywhere, can't go far. Do not listen. This is I'm reading. I'm reading this to you guys, but just face to face. Do not uh, do not think that other people can tell you what to do and how how you do your thing. If you have a goal, a certain goal in your life, and you want to do it, you better do it. Don't don't quit and don't stop because someone else says don't, and you can't go far. Okay. So um, number eight. You have create a good squad that's easy, com easy, easy to communicate with and get the dub, get the win. Visualize the win. Um, number nine, stream, clip, and record your gameplay to capture and share your important moments. Meaning, like me, I use GeForce. GeForce, I can be the... Uh, see what what like crazy moments maybe an event happened or something like that or maybe some little crazy clip i just hit and i'm like oh my gosh i'm crazy or something like that um or I, if i'm streaming that's a that's a good thing too um number 10 have strong security on your gameplay accounts and digital devices meaning so people can't hack your account or you can lose it make sure you have it secure but you know the password and different things to get into that account and number and number 11 as my last tips is a bonus. Make sure you sub to DTL and I will have more tips, um, tricks, and suggestions to help you advance in your gameplay. So, guys, see you guys in my next live stream. Is this a live stream? No. Okay. So, uh, things that I've learned about playing is not to play, uh, first thing I'm going to say is not to play so aggro. Meaning, aggro means like, um, sorry, I was in Fortnite term, but in actual term, mean don't play so aggressive. When you play aggressive, sometimes that can actually get you more hesitating to like, just like be to play. It's like a certain way I have to show you, but it's not like a, a way I can explain. But um, play a, a aggressive, but passive at the same time. Play smart, like play smarter, not harder. That's what I'm trying to say. Play smarter, not harder. That's what I learned in my gameplay. Learn how to peace control because that helps you definitely. Peace controlling means be able to make your enemies look lost like Dora. And people say, you look lost like Dora because you know maps and funny stuff like that. But learn how to peace, learn how to build so you can be at a peace to people. Aim, definitely work on that. And um, more and other things that I've learned in my gaming, make sure you uh, have great confidence, says in here, even... Make sure you have great confidence and do not let yourself down. If you if you like if you get eliminated, don't be sad. Don't say, "Oh dang, I can't believe I got eliminated a couple times." You lose if you lose a couple of random points, you may want to take a break. You take a break from the game a little bit and go play something else, or maybe go watch some YouTube, go chill with your friends, uh, like in real life IRL or in video game or in game. 
um, maybe go do something else, just relax for a little bit and then get back to it. Because if you keep on playing, keep on playing over and over and over and over again, then you might get uh, mad, keep on mad, mad, then you might want to hit something or break something and stuff like that. So don't do that. And um, stuff, different stuff like that. Also, watch your health. When you're fighting and especially in your storm, you got to watch your health all the time. Because what I used to do, I used to be able to uh, look at people right but i'm not looking at this looking at the storm i'm not looking at my health i'm not looking at the guns that i have what i started being able to do um is look at my weapons at the same time i'm fighting people so i know what i have know what i pick up know the different things that i have so just in case i'm i'm in the middle of a fight and i accidentally pick up a shotgun but it's a shotgun i don't want so then i'm shooting that shotgun and they they eliminate me so watch your health see how how uh easy you're to, able to hit and watch your uh yeah, your mats. Your mats, ammo, builds, and uh, weapons. So that, those are things that I've learned. And well, actually, let me say one more last thing. One more last thing is um, it's not something to learn, but it's just a suggestion. Make sure you use also in here. Make sure you have good gaming equipment. Because this mouse right here. Oops. This mouse. Let me turn it off real quick because it's moving. Uh, this mouse right here. I like this mouse, but... I'm just thinking. I'm thinking to either keep it or take it back for uh for another one, uh because this mouse is actually good. I like it. It's able to move right, but like it doesn't feel right to me. You gotta make sure if you if you're able to be in that uh that state. Yeah, uh, if you're able to move, like not move. What I'm trying to say, but to get what you want with your gameplay, make sure you get the best for you. If you think it's something like fifty dollars, like this was fifty dollars, and pretty yeah, fifty dollars. This seems like, okay, it's, it's kind of expensive, so let's see if it's going to be good. It could be good for some people, but it doesn't. it's not going to be good for you sometimes. So sometimes things are not good for you, so you need to come back and go exchange it until they're right for you. Unless, unless it's over and over and over again, you, you would just try to, try to get used to it. But uh, that's what I, I'm saying, but most likely I'm going to keep this mouse. I like it, it's wireless, but um, that was the only, it's like flaws and sins. So uh, pros and cons on this mouse right here. But that's that's the things that I learned, and I just want to say that last thing. But yeah. Okay. Next video. Okay, guys. See you guys next video. Detail out. Peace.